let's say that this is your WordPress site and you have a contact form like this. So if a customer fills this up and submits it, WordPress should send an email that looks like this to your inbox and another one that looks like this to the visitor's inbox. Sometimes either one or both of these land up in the spam folder instead of inbox. And today I'll help you fix this using a free SMTP plugin. Also, don't miss the end of the video because we have a bonus giveaway for you. Okay, first let's understand why your emails are landing in the spam folder. Basically, your website's hosting server has not been correctly set up for email. To fix this, we will be setting up SMTP to make sure that the WordPress emails always go to the inbox. So here is my website and let me click here and this is the contact form. Now I'm going to enter my details here, then add a message and then submit the form. Okay, now normally two emails should go out, one to me and one to my visitor. But if I just show you the screen, um, there's no email to me, it's in the spam folder. And if I open the other email ID, the visitor has also not received an email, it's also in the spam folder. So I'm gonna fix that now. Let's come back to our WordPress dashboard. Let's go to plugins, add new, and then in the search bar, type fluent SMTP. So this is the one we want. Let's install and activate it. Now on the left side, you'll see that the plugin is active. So let's go to settings and start the process. Now here, there is an option to choose from different email providers, but we're working with an email ID that we've got from a web host. So let's go to other SMTP. And here there's a form to fill. Now we need a business email ID that's connected to your web host and website. If you already have that, you can skip to the next chapter. If you don't, I'm going to now show you how to create a free business email ID that's connected to your website. The steps I'll show you are similar for all web hosts. So here's their website and I'll log in. Now I can click here. Now I can go here. And these are all the settings. You will create a new email account. which will have the domain name at the back of it. And then add a password for it. Now this password will also be our SMTP password. So we have to remember this. And now a new business email address has been created that's connected to my website. Now let's go back to our WordPress dashboard and let's set up the SMTP plugin. Now let's add the email address we just created and then type in the name that we want to show up on top when someone gets the email from us. Now we leave these settings as they are and now we need the SMTP host and port. And if you scroll down, we need the username and password as well. So to get these details, let's come back to our web host settings, go to the email address we just created, click here and then here. And we can see these settings. Then we click here. And we'll see all the details that we need. So let's keep this open and go back to our WordPress dashboard. So first we need to add the host, which will be the domain name. So that's this. For port, let's go back to our web host and here's the port number. So we'll copy this and come back and paste it. Now we'll change the encryption to SSL and then come down. And now for username and password, we'll go back. So let's copy this username, come back and paste it. And here's where we add the SMTP password, which we created before. And then press save connection settings. Now all the settings have been saved and we've set up SMTP for a business email address. Now here you see the email logs and you can also choose the setting here for whether you want it to be deleted every 14 days or six months, according to your preference. So just select that and save this setting. And now you will have email logs and you'll be able to figure out whether your emails are going out or not. So let's test if everything is fixed and we'll go up and you see the email test, click here. Now here let's enter the business email we just created. And let's send that to another email ID that I have. Now we can click on the blue button. And here we see that the email has been successfully sent. But let's just double check this by opening our inbox. Uh, I'll open another tab and log into my email ID. And yes, we can now see that the email has landed in my inbox. But now I want to see if a visitor fills the contact form on my website, if the two emails that need to go out are going out properly. So I'm going to come back to my website, add some credentials, 
add a message and let's submit it. Now let's come back to my inbox and yes, I can see all the details from the contract form here. And if I open another tab and open the visitor email ID, there it is, the email from the contact form. Now it's time for the bonus giveaway. For those of you that are new here, my team builds plugins and we've seen a lot of success with BlogVault and Malcare. Now, for a limited time, we are giving away a free speed plugin that's unlike anything you've ever seen before. Like look at this website before and after. The speed has almost tripled. This new plugin is called Elift and it does the work of five different plugins all by itself. I'm gonna show you a live demo, but before that, let me answer a common doubt. How is Elift free if it's so good? It's quite simple. It's like ChatGPT. You've seen that as more and more people try ChatGPT, the data helps the algorithm get better and the new versions are released, right? That's what we're doing with Elif. Our goal is that no one should have to use a whole bunch of plugins and try a hundred different settings to get a fast website. You should just have to add your website URL and then with one click, you should get a 90 plus score. Right now, Elif does give a 90 plus score about 80% of the time and the rest 20% message our customer support and we manually look into the site and make it faster for free. These edge cases help our algorithm get better over time. So it's a win-win for everyone. Will Elif become paid in the future? No, just like ChatGPT, this will always be a free service and maybe we will offer some perks for the paid version like priority customer support. We don't know yet. For now, let me show you how effective it is today with a quick demo. So let's go here and open a new tab and type Google PageSpeed. Now click on PageSpeed Insights. This is a free page by Google to check if your website is loading too slowly. So I will come back to my website, copy the URL, then come back and paste it here. Then click Analyze. Now you can see that this site score is quite low and I'm gonna show you how fast Airlift is gonna make this website. So we will go to another tab, type airlift.net and this website will open. Now click here, add your email, and then you have to paste your website URL here and click here. Now download the plugin by clicking here and you will see a zip file has been downloaded. Then go back to your WordPress dashboard, go to plugins and add new, then drag and drop the folder. Install the plugin and then activate it. Now you'll see that your site is automatically being optimized and after that you'll see the result page and you can see that the score is well over 90. Now let's go back to page speed and this is the moment of truth. We want to see whether the speed increase inside Airlift is also recognized by Google. So we are going to click analyze again and there you go. The increase in speed has been confirmed by Google. So if you're also excited to check it out, go to the link in description and I'm sure it's going to be worth your time.